every Wilden AODD pump is identified by a model designation. The pump model designation will identify your current pump model as well as outline the materials and options available for other Wilden pump models. The details of the pump's model designation can be found in Section 2 of the Pump's Engineering Operations and Maintenance, or EOM, manual. A Wilden pump model designation consists of six main sections. The first section identifies the ATEC certification, if applicable, as well as the pump's air distribution system and model. The first digit in this section is optional and denotes whether the pump model is ATEX rated. If the pump model's description starts with an X, the pump will be ATEX rated. If it starts with anything else, the pump is not ATEX rated. The next digit is the designation for the pump's air distribution system. This is identified by one to three letters. For example, P is for ProFlow. PS is for ProFlow Shift, and T is for TurboFlow. The AccuFlow air distribution system starts with A, followed by the model, and includes the base air system. For example, a half-inch AccuFlow pump with the ProFlow base air distribution system would be denoted by A1P in this first section. The model identifies the pump's size and construction. This is identified by a sequence of one to four numbers. The size is the pump's standard fluid inlet and discharge porting size. The second section identifies the pump's external components, including the wetted parts, outer piston, air chamber or center section, center block, and air valve. The first digit in this section outlines the material of construction for the wetted parts of the pump. This consists of the outer chambers and the manifolds. Wilden offers various plastic and metal material options depending on the application requirements. The second digit of this section denotes the outer piston option for the pump. In most cases, this will match the wetted parts material of construction. The pump may also not have an outer piston if the diaphragm is integral piston, such as Kim fuse or pure fuse diaphragms. The third digit in this section denotes the material for the air chamber. The fourth digit in this section denotes the material of the center block. Pump models under one inch require a one-piece center section that combines the air chamber and center block. The model designation for these pumps will group these two digits together. The final digit in this section denotes the material of the air valve. Some air valve materials are specific to the air distribution system used. The third section of a Wilden AODD pump's model designation denotes the style and material for the diaphragms. Each three-digit combination of letters identifies a specific diaphragm style and material. The fourth section of the model designation denotes the check balls. In the case of the Hygienic or Brahma series, this section identifies the material of the flap or mushroom valves that are used in place of the check balls. The fifth section of the model designation denotes the valve seats and O-rings used in the pump. This section can be either two or three digits long, depending on the seat selected. In the case of a pump with an elastomeric seat, this section will only have two digits. This is due to the elastomeric seats not needing a manifold O-ring. The Buna N, denoted as BN, and Wilflex, denoted as WF options, are examples of elastomeric seats that do not need an O-ring. In the case of a pump with metallic or plastic seats, this section will be three digits. The first digit will denote the seat material, and the second and third digit will denote the manifold O-ring material. For example, having ATF in this section would denote an aluminum seat identified by A, and the PTFE O-rings identified by TF. The final section of the model designation identifies the specialty code of the pump. The specialty code consists of four numerical digits that are specific to the options for that pump. 
This section is blank for pumps that do not have a specialty code associated with them. To help identify the pump materials and components that are required for your application, review our Chemical Compatibility Guide. For more information on the ATEX rating and other safety recommendations for your Wilden pump, refer to our Safety Supplement in the Wilden AODD Pump Guide section of the website. If you aren't sure what type of Wilden pump would be best for your application, our Choice Online Pump Selection Tool can help specify the pump needed to meet your system requirements. For more information on your current Wilden pump model, please visit the Manuals section of the Download Library on the Wilden website.